So if you've ever been into a rental shop in a resort on a very busy day, chances are the guy giving you the board would have just sized you up and will bring you back a board that sits roughly between your nose and your chin. That's a really quick way of doing it, but the, the myth that snowboard size is dependent on your height is fundamentally flawed. If you think about Peter Crouch compared to Jonah Lomu, they're roughly the same height, about two meters, but one is way bigger than the other and is, is gonna weigh a lot more. If you imagine putting them on exactly the same snowboard, they're gonna have two totally different experiences. So when it comes down to it, Snowboard size um, is all about your weight. So once you've figured out your weight, you want to start thinking about the riding style that you're trying to get out of your new snowboard. If you're more into jibbing, um, chances are you're going to want a slightly shorter board than, say, someone who's looking to ride powder a lot, in which case you're going to want to size up. Um, if you're looking for all mountain, you're probably going to be somewhere in the middle. Once you've figured out the type of riding you want to do, a good, a good next step is to look at the white line size chart or a generic size chart to figure out roughly the kind of size board you want to be looking at for your weight. Now, if you look at our buyer's guide for the past couple of seasons, we have printed a size chart in there. This chart should give you a pretty good idea of the kind of size range you want to be looking at when you're after a particular type of board. And this will be a, th a three centimeter bracket. Once you've narrowed your choice down to that three centimeter bracket, it's a good idea to then go and do some research and figure out which brand's boards interest you. So it could be the graphics or particular features um, that fit into that type of, of riding that you're after. Once you've done that, we'd recommend going to test a few boards out. So pick one that's smack bang in the middle of that weight range that you've just researched, and then maybe also try one that's slightly on the bigger side and slightly on the shorter side. Because as with everything in snowboarding, everyone has their own personal take on things. In general, I prefer shorter boards um, for jibbing and for more all-mountain park riding, um, just because I feel like it gives me a little bit more maneuverability in the air. Other people, on the other hand, might prefer the added stability of a longer board, so it's definitely worth trying a few out and seeing what works for you. To complicate matters even further, many brands these days are bringing out snowboards that stray drastically away from the norm. The Burton Nug, for example, is designed to be ridden a lot shorter, and the brand new Yes 420, which is coming out this season, is drastically reduced in, in length, but is, has been built much wider with a much tighter side cut, which allows you to ride a really, really short board without compromising on performance. In these situations, it's worth looking at these unusual boards on a case-by-case -case basis. Go into a store, have a chat to the guy there, and they will be able to give you advice on these rather unusual models. In general though, if you, can, if you can figure out the type of riding you want to do and the basic um, size range that you should be looking at, it's a really good starting point that you can, you can take from there, demo a few boards and try and figure out whether you, you want to board slightly on the, on the lower end of that weight range or on the upper uh, end of that weight range. Best not to stray outside because you could end up snapping a board or owning a board that rides you instead of you riding it. So to demonstrate how your board size is such a personal choice, I'm just going to go through these two snowboards that I've got here. On my left, we've got a lobster jib board in a size 148. And being a jib board, it is very soft. And at 148, this would actually be too short for me, even as a jib board. I could ride it, but for my personal tastes, I would find it too squirrely and a little bit too loose. I'd probably like to have a little bit more nose and tail for stability but I'm the sort of weight that I could ride this board and not have any real problems, but for my personal taste, I'd probably size up a fraction. On the other hand, we've got a 158 wide Battalion Goliath. The Goliath is sort of an all-mountain charging board, and as in a 158 wide, it would definitely be too big for me. I could ride this thing in powder, and it would handle pretty decent in powder, thanks to being so long and so wide, but on the piste, I'd probably find it difficult to control it really well, because my feet are only a size eight. Additionally, the length would mean that I'd have to put in quite a lot of effort to get the board to perform how I wanted it to. If I was to buy a Battalion Goliath as an all-mountain board for myself, I would probably be looking at more of the 155 to 156 range, and not in a wide either, um, being only 65 kilograms myself. 